All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I hope everybody's having a great day. So last episode, chat, we we uh we got this cool ass looking mask. That that did happen. But um now nah, yeah, we got a bit more done with the story. Um we learned a lot of spells <laughs> last episode. And uh yeah, today we're gonna continue. I um I finished all the requirements to do the next big story mission because uh, some of the story missions are like locked behind learning certain spells and things like that. And uh, I made sure that we went ahead and got all that done. So now we can head up up here and uh, do this quest. Uh, but I hope everybody's having a great day. Let me go ahead and get out. I wonder if I should... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll head up here. That's fine. I do want to unlock the next upgrade for my broom, but the thing is, I, I don't have the money um, to do that right now. But now I know the game is live for everybody, so I hope you guys have also been... Uh, for those of you that are playing it, I hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, this game has been a freaking blast, I'll tell you what. Uh, game runs perfect for me, yeah, Lucy. Even even you know during early access, um, I get a couple frame hiccups here and there. Like it'll just like you. you, you need here I come. Um, we, I just had one, but that's about it. Literally, I'll just get a like a like a little drag, and it's not even all the time. It's just every every now and again. <laughs> Somebody down there fighting. We're gonna get up here, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it daytime. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead make it daytime. Ah, uh, Savage, how you doing this morning? Gaspy, what's up, brother? All right, there we go. Damn, Sneaky, you already finished the game? Lumos. This looks intriguing. I need a level two lock. We can get that um, by finding some more of those statues. I, I really haven't done it yet. I actually have to be nighttime watch. Yep, it has to be nighttime. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We had to meet up with Natty. Psst, over here, quietly. Right, let's see what she wants. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? 
Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? That's what I, I want to know. Like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. How, how do I know she's not she's not trying to set us up, chat? You know what I mean? If you visit all the small villages, there's one of those statues in every one. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Okay, so the main gate is locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't let me switch my spell bar. Depulsa. That did it. When Guardian Leviosa. Yeah, we just uh I'm being super sneaky right now, as you guys can see. <laughs> oh, for some reason, I won't let me swap my, uh, my spell bars. Controls are the same. Maybe because of the mission, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I wonder if I could use this to stand on. Wingardium Leviosa. Not high enough. Hmm. Let me see if there's another one around, maybe? I got one to stand on. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Well, standing on the box, it, it, yeah, you can't. You, I don't. I don't know if you could do that. I'm thinking maybe I, I just gotta make me stand it up long ways. You know what I mean? I don't know. If, I don't know if I can. All right, is there a way to rotate this while it's under this spell?
Like that. Still don't know if it's gonna be tall enough. Got it. Yep. So yeah, we just had to make it tall. Lumos. Or at least that's what worked for me. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Not being very sneaky. Doesn't let you cast while you're in a crouched position like that. Dead end. Must be another way. <laughs> now we should be able to get in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Push the gate open. Don't do not blast it. Depulsa. So I'll take it. I blasted it. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. I think we got it. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Wingardium Leviosa. What if that will stop it? No, just go through it. Let me see what's downstairs. Yeah, that's it. I mean, why can't she just. Okay, now I can swap my spells. Oh, I see right there. I got it. Right here, chat. Boom. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Of course, she has awesome lock picking. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face! Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Uh, JC Sandals, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. I really appreciate it, man. How you doing tonight? Oh, 
Wingardium and Leviosa. Okay, so we got this, which I'll need to climb. The safest place to sneak into. Lumos. Betting on the dragon fight was the Traficus Totalis. Later, bro. He's fine. Uh, Melvin, welcome, welcome. Happens, chat. Alohomora. One thing that I'm super surprised with this game in this game chat is how good the stealth I hope is. He's having an easier time of it. Slits. Holy shit, man. Yo. Thank you. That is a huge donation, brother. Uh, thank you for your awesome streams. Love you and your family. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You're showing mad love. A wooden box. <gasps> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Hello, Hamora. Elf main ivory gloves. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't want to swap out my gloves earlier because of the uh I'm gonna lose my trait. That's a lot of overall offense, so we're gonna swap to that for right now.
<laughs> Be a battle mage, guys. So was there nothing else around this bend here? Nope. Okay, cool. Hey, what? I'll save these little dudes. Uh, I gotta, I gotta change my spells though. Uh, we need the bag, right? Yeah, the bag. I'll keep the brush on here, too. Actually, a new creature I've never seen before. It looks like a... Yeah, a Niffler. Looks like Psyduck. Yeah, I need to get a Dava Kadaver though. That's the spell that we that I really want. And Crucio. The gear's full. Uh, we gotta make sure we sell after this mission. Like take our time, go sell because we fill up so quick. Do I have all the stealth spells unlocked? Uh, I don't know about stealth spells. I have the the one that makes me invisible, but that's it. And then I have the stealth attack, the paralyzing spell. Yeah, I have this. I have well, stupefy is built into the counter countering in the game. I wing. It's all right. There we go. Come on. A lot more. Hurry. Hogwarts Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. Who needs a broom when you have this? Yeah, let's see Harry do this, chat. But Harry never flew.
Wait, what do you mean, Harry? Well, fuck I Harry, chat. Why Harry always gotta be a one-upper? He's that guy. Harry's that guy, chat. This is amazing! It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. So now we can fly on high wing whenever. New item unlocked. Oh, we have different... Now that... We have different looking... Flying mounts? Oh, I can't use the other ones yet? I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Yeah, so I can't... Or is it because I'm on... When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me... He has something to share with you. Of course he does. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Bunch of missions flowing in now. What about Sebastian? Sebastian, send me an owl. Teach me the killing curse, bro. All right, now maybe I could do it. Yep, now I could change it. So we have the, we have that one that. Ooh, yeah, that looks a little more menacing. You know what I mean? Like the, the, like, like that one definitely looks a lot more menacing. Goes with our style. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's really menacing or just gross. Well, we'll, we'll check it out. It, it just looked sick and frail. How about some sightseeing? Let's go! Go! I mean, it's all right. It's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely pretty legit. It's just kind of gross. Yeah, the bat horse chat. <laughs> bat horse. Uh, oh, uh, so let me go ahead and see if we can, uh, 
I want to see what the black hippogriff looks like, because this one looked fire too. Now nah, there it is, chat. Faster. The black chicken horse. Yeah, it's just it's it looks like he can eat, you know what I mean? Like he ate. Time to go a little quicker. I'm not thank you for the super chat in honor of uh DeWolfka. <laughs> I vote chicken horse is renamed Chick Horse Skin. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today? All right, so let's see. We just got a bunch of quests. Um, let me go over the log here. Flipendo. In honor of Dwolf, I vote the chicken horse is renamed Chi Horseskin. Chi Horseskin. Oh, hold on. Is this a? Uh... Oh, we do have a mission for. Sebastian, hold on. Let's go see what this is. See horse skin. Nope, that's not it. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, we'll go sell. We'll go sell. Let me get this fast travel point near where Sebastian is. I'm level 20 right now. There's a fast travel point literally right next to him. And we'll go sell, get our inventory squared away. Yeah, what was the name of that one professor from Harry Potter? Um, he had like the long black hair. He was always like super like... Um, and he seemed like the evil dude. What was his name? Snap. I've always said that. All right, there we go. Did did he have the juice chat? Was he pretty strong? So was he kind of meh? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I always forget, chat. I always, I, I usually move my camera for this game, but then I forget. You know what I mean? This and Ark are the first, only two games I have to move my camera for right now. Come on in. Healing right. potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Okay. All right, let's sell all this stuff. DeWolfka. Could also go and throw those uh, scorching upgrades on my gear. Get rid of that. A wise decision. Thank you. Buy a couple of these. All right, so let's get back. I got to go back to my room, I anyways. I want to get my I want to get my stuff squared away really quick, chat, before we uh 
we go ahead and do some more missions. Go to the room of requirements. I think Deke wanted to talk to us here too. JC Sandals, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Thank you for the great content. Um, I purchased both Division and Far Cry series because of your great content. Hey, I hope you enjoy the games, man. Seriously. Hey, chat, doesn't this look familiar? Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Yes, Deke. Yes, I know. Okay, so we're going to make uh, some healing potions really quick. And then I'm going to upgrade here at the loom. Oh, I, I do got destruction one now. Yeah, destruction one will be better than... Uh, Okay, so I needed some more puffer skin, which is cool because I can actually ra I got a couple more that we can raise. Okay, um, we'll just release all these dudes. Alright, so I'm going to go around, feed, and farm up these dudes really quick. Get the supplies off them. Uh, we're going to need the brush, the bag, and the food. So the more puff skins I have, the more you, you should be able to farm up the the fur. What wrong dude? There we go. So I got the Niffer fur Niffler fur. Puff skin fur. Wrong button. I'll look after you. George with the super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. Happy Saturday. Um, setting up a 12 hours sweet, 16 hours right now. Oh, listen as I connect my gear. Uh, have a good stream today. Hey, man, I appreciate you, brother. So 12 hours is a long time to do anything, man. Okay. That one's already been done. Bed, and then this one needs to get brushed. Why do you got to look like that, though, dude? I don't even want to feed him, chat. It's because he's it's, it's too much eyeball. There's <laughs> too much eye. Okay, so I think I've got all my puff skins. So you can farm them every 30 minutes. So definitely having more of them is better. And it seems like a lot of the... Um, the fire abilities are tied directly to puff skin fur. Just 
Shirley, how you doing? Yeah, I know. It, 78,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate it. And you all have been showing me mega love lately. It's it's crazy. Another one of those going. All right. Destruction one on there. I wonder if you could change... Yeah, awesome. So you could change the trait. Spark Frigno should be hitting hard with these upgrades. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can upgrade this. Okay, so Mooncap for... Upgrade... Our gear is pretty optimized for the most part. Right, I'm gonna do uh we'll do a couple more potions. Uh you wanna hold three of each in pens. Uh each pen can hold four species. Got you. Yeah, Neil Scap, I've been trying. I mean, I'm level 20. I don't know. Um, I've been trying to do as much side stuff as possible. I, I, you know, I've been. I feel like I've been putting the main quest stuff on the back burner for the most part. That's why I'm about to go link up with Sebastian right now. I actually have a ton of uh, supplies here to make. I gotta look at getting an upgraded potion station too, so we can make them a little better, more efficient. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. What? Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? I am, actually. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, 
So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Damn, that's savage. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. You can't imagine how he... All right, so we got to wait for him to hit us up. Unfortunately. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. What's up, Deke? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I got him. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Deke, you don't want you don't want to get your your hopes up with things like this, man. It's uh, it's never a good thing. Okay, so this is pretty far up in the forest. No, I haven't been in this area yet, I believe. Who 
This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Yeah, we definitely haven't been. I've been in the forest all over the place, but yeah, we haven't been here yet. What kind of animal down here? Well, it might be, uh, time of day. It's not here right now, probably out at night. Oh, look on the map, it tells you what animal it is. Incendio. Helps you miss your quota by three files. No food for a week, really? Tobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Revelio. Accio! Potato! Stupid! Confringo! Incendio. That was way bigger than anything we've ever seen. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Sebastian, I got you, brother. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Damage feels pretty good now with them, them upgrades. Incendio. Of 
send you. Great right, Ghost Brother, how have you been, man? It's good to see you. I will found you, uh, hand burning chicken buffs last night. Hope you're having a good one. What? Oh, chicken butts. I, I've never. There's no proof, chat. I get blamed, you know, for a lot of things that happen to animals, but honestly, I am the definition of an animal person. Akio, incendio, confirm. Hey, Ryan, Bad Wolf Road found you cam berm chicken butts last night. Hope you're having a good one. Akio, incendio. Oh. Incendio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Yeah, Tobbs is... He's really about doing this shit for the Master. trying to give me the business right there. No, Jacos, I I love animals, man. 
And the only reason why the whole thing with the penguins happened, chat, that was because chat told me to do it. That I only I only killed the penguins with the club. I didn't I didn't chainsaw them, so it's way better, right? Incendio. Well, that didn't work. There we go. Oh, we just got a new hat that actually looked like an upgrade. Let's see how much of an upgrade, though. <laughs> Incendio. There's no way Hobbs survives, though, chat. Not, not through all that. Oh no, I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs, left here alone with the spiders. I wonder who his master was. Revelio. Looks familiar. Oh. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. The fire is still on. He was just alive. Maybe we could wake him up, chat. Maybe, maybe it's not all over for Hobbs. No, I'm pretty sure he's dead, chap. He's he's pretty dead. I was trying to wake him up. It's not like the game gives you the option to walk up and 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 nicely tap him on the shoulder. I was just trying to help! Could have jumped on him. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's see. Huh? The, the, those things. Mm, we're good. All right, let's go tell Deke about his friend who was already dead, chat. I 
didn't mean to burn him. I hit the wrong button. I was trying. I was trying to use Accio, and then I hit a bunch of other buttons. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Of course, bro. I gotta go meet up with Sebastian anyways. My man, Sebastian. Here we go. Tell him what I did to his friend's corpse. I didn't do anything. I just gave him a proper crema crem cremation. An accidental cremation, chat. And then I froze his remains to preserve them. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Do you guys think we can... He's this way. Convince my man. Ominous is really not ha happy. Like... No, I mean, I get it now a little bit. At first I thought he Keep was just an being out. an ass. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. Uh, but now that I know his past... Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Accidental cremation <laughs> sounds an awful lot like murder. You can't murder something that's already dead. It was a premature cremation, all right? See that there? That, yeah. It was there just, he is. Good it was luck. just a little premature. Yeah. That, that, that's the best way to explain it. It was... And uh, guys, I do appreciate almost 300 likes already on the stream. Seriously, thank you so much. What are you doing here? Right, here we go. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. 
She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Got him! I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics. Facts, like dude. Army Gale with the five gifted members. Thank you so much. And uh, everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. So I do see three braziers. Maybe we got to light all three of them. Incendio. That brazier would tell me to I wonder if it's a clue. Heard something happen. Incendio. Good for you. Okay, so I'll, I'll do it like this. Incendio. So I definitely got all three of them going at once. But it didn't matter. Let me check down this hallway here. Now, I wonder if it takes into consideration the two that are already lit. No, because yeah, there's three in here that are already lit. There's one, two, three. Aloha, Mora. I really doubt this has to do with anything. Ooh, nope. I did We're that before. 
dark, ominous corridors. So I lit all three of them before, but it didn't open. Now, maybe, I, maybe I didn't. Come on, that was a good one. Lumos. It worked though. It's like a locked door. We may want to look around. Oh, here's the uh, letter from the aunt. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Your family was here. Repairer! The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must Lumos. be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient, sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous. You possess oh man, a speak snake lead. chat. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Luma has no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. This journal entry, it, the dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. I wonder if I could light these braziers. I wonder if it has to do with the, with the one that's out there. This is looking rather dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar. Lumos. Okay, so yeah, there's the uh, little moon thing and snake thing. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in the mirror, Sebastian. So that's one gate open. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. This <laughs> one has nice work. The cat-looking thing, and then the the Zoro sign. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Repairer. 
Lumos. And it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Okay, so there's another lock in there we might have to use to hit another door. It might be for that door there. Nocturne references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Tadpole and mountain chat. Tadpole and mountain. Accio. Incendio. Another. Not the welcoming sort, was he? Bad Paul. Mountain. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate. I think we're locked in again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw tortured faces. The only way forward is within, with an unforgivable curse. Um, even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. Damn, Ominous. Son. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. What? You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. No, I won't. I'm gonna cast the shit out of it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. 
I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse. Alright, so I want to learn the curse and then I'm going to have him cast it on me. I'm not, I'm not going to cast it on him, chat. That's my boy, you know what I mean? I'll take, I'm going to, I'm going to take, we take a W because we're going to, we're going to learn the curse and then, then we got to take the L because we're going to have it casted on us though. But you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It just, that's my boy. We're, we're, gonna, we're taking one for the team chat. We can't have both him and his sister, <laughs> both him and his sister curse. You know what I mean? I'm going to take it for the team, though. So I want to learn a Cruciatus curse, but you must cast it on me. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. There we go. Ready? I'm ready. That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin. There it is, chat. Crucio. I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. Slytherin spellbook. Just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Damn, bro. How are you just going to drink? Hey, chat, listen. That, that's not what you do. You don't walk into offices that have been, you know, abandoned for... 3,000 years and then drink from a mug that's just sitting on a table. Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. So, what's a muggleborn, chat? Just regular people? Got you, got you. Slytherin sound kind of... Like an extremist, chat. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. 
read it, having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. We still have what I, I believe two curses that we have to learn. We got the the control curse and then the kill curse. Oh, I'm I'm you. I, I didn't make that promise. That that was Sebastian's promise. I, they they taught me the the dark magic. I'm using it. That's just how it is, chat. Uh, meet Natty in Lower Hogsfield. All right, yeah, so these two assignments, this one I have to grow and harvest fluxweed, which I don't, I got to go buy the seeds for that. And acquire uh, all three comet plants and use them simultaneously. Got those. So we'll look at this. You are here. Good. Of course, Nanny. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? Oh, no, lady, I just got here. I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? 
My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> We'll find your son, Mrs. Pickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> She's crying like... <laughs> <You're saying laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Pickle. You know like when your kids are like fake crying and then they like... They like cramp their hands and then they stop to look and see if you're like... To see like how you're reacting to that. That's what I felt like she was doing right there. <laughs> Bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Oh, nice. I gotta identify that. Forty-seven, forty-six. We'll get rid of that one. Thirty-nine, forty-five. Yeah. There's actually some really good uh, spectacles here. Damn, these ones are even better in the gr greens. No upgrades though available on the green. I didn't even have to waste the curse on him. On the spiders. I mean, can you really curse a spider, though? What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not a Accio. It is a shame that hippogriff cannot Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Achi's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. I've Achi? been over here before. Achi Bickle! On my own, actually. He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out Revelio. where he went. His footprints. He went this way. Poor little Archie chap. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. Prepare for a fight. Cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around.
Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Halo, distracted. Revelio. This may be a good time for Revelio again. A little man came here. Archie went this way. In this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Multiple sets of footprints. Oh. Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> oh, what is that? Oh, so you can catch mounts, chat. The, the not nasty dudes. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Boom. So you can just catch them dudes to chat a few. So I think I got mine from the DLC. Um. Yeah, you could just catch those dudes. Mr. Raid! Casa with the Raid, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day. I waste no time, chat. It is as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. Crucial. I know of our new friend. You are not surviving fight. Explosive. Oh, that's In clever. Accio. They got what they deserved. What? We saw large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Why is it so big? It was tiny as... Is this like... Yennefer's tent in The Witcher? I mean, this is way more than Yennefer's tent in The Witcher. Don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release the <laughs> 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 Revelio. 
Got a lot of guys out here. I mean, I would have usually have gone stealth mode, but I just got this curse and I want to use it. And then it won't let me switch back to this bar, chat. I don't know, it's super weird. To your knees. Had enough. I'm stuck on my my one bar for whatever reason. I got it. Archie. Revelio. Sorry, Archie. I just gotta finish looting, bro, and I got you. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? I got 22 talent points, really, chat? No. Four. Yeah, four. So I know I haven't spent any in a bit. You know, now that we have Crucio. That's pretty good. They'll spread the curse. I mean, guys, thank you for the sub. John, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Achi. We need to get this open. You no, know he sounds like he sounds like the little brother from uh, a plague tale, doesn't he? Hello, Homora. Sounds oh, sorry, identical Archie. to him, chat. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't it, have it, 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 it's way, the same Archie. voice actor, chat. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. 100% the same voice actor. There's no way it isn't. That's Hugo from 
That's Hugo from, uh... A Plague Style. Same voice actor. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh, oh you're safe! Mother? Oh, Mother! Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Revelio. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already coming after me. <laughs> it may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. give us a little gold. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. But she says that she... As soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. She says that she couldn't even begin to repay us, but I mean, she could have began by just like, you know, hooking us up with like a hat or something, you know I've what I mean? I said that travel broadens the mind. All right. So we got that one done. No, no arc today. No, I was supposed to play State of Decay um, today, but um, I have something else in mind, but we'll see. She was all the way downstairs. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. <laughs> Everett said the same <laughs> thing. Anyway... To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. 
It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. But then you didn't go in, I did. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology Got corridor? Got them the five min I months, thank you so much. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was Scotland. anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. But hmm. honestly, I don't I don't in herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Rebellion. I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. Accio. So don't stand in front of it, chat, and then suck it at you. You will definitely get your shit squished. That chest looks interesting. That wasn't too hard. What was that? There we go. Rachel with the three months. Thank you so much. Nothing is safe in games with Brian Blitz. What do you mean, Rachel? I'm the I am the safest person to be around in games. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just the safest.
Works. That's the last of them. Seems I was a man. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Got it. it. Wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. And I want to thank you all for already over 400 likes on the stream. Thank have you, you thank you. Have to uh, prove my bravery yet? I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. Damn, but what you're just moping around, aren't you? Luke and Brattleby must have nearly wet It didn't herbology chamber. Yeah, that was a part of uh, Saronia's side quest. We had to find ar the some like oh, ancient nice witch's armor or something like that for her. That's really cool. Revelio. Now, I wonder if I can get some of the uh, attack plants in here that I can use for that assignment. And a These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Nice. 
Those black fingerless gloves actually look pretty cool. Compared to these white ones. I don't know why I didn't switch my gloves. Uh, might just go with the full fingered ones. These ones just are kind of like... Not my style. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Find some pretty good gear in here. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. I don't get why we... We don't want to give him false bravery. Oh, uh, you can basic cast and break things? Got you. Oh, nice. So we get some of these free venomous uh, plants here. What if we get free mandrake plants in the herbology? Another unidentified. Yeah, no mandrake plants, though. I'm gonna have to grow my own mandrakes, but I gotta get more of the... I gotta build more... Um... Pots. Because right now I only have the one. Oh, cool, David. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, yeah, I, could, I definitely gotta buy- I definitely gotta buy another one. Or make more than one. I was sitting there thinking like, oh, I need- I need to get a bigger potion station, but then I'm like, why don't I just build more than one potion station? Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. It's expensive, I though, Kyle. It's the only reason why I haven't done it. Um, because, yeah, I know I can go buy... Actually, I might go check out the price, because it's been a bit since I've been over there. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Should have kept it. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puffskin Dunking for me. We did get a new robe for that, though. 
Okay, so now we gotta go turn in this other... The rest... The quest to Sorolona or Sonoya or whatever her name was. There it is. Oh, Sephirina. The Forerunner. Sephrona. Sephronia. Yeah, definitely a stolen valor moment there, but uh, it is what it is. The guy, we're helping the guy get rid of his stupid nickname they gave him. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. If only Black had the power to choose the other professors too. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course, but not for free. That wasn't easy. Of course, of course. I'd pay anything. Got it! Oh, how grand! <laughs> You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself. The greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Hit her up, chat, and she she actually paid. <laughs> she was happy. She was happy to pay. Revelio. What was the ministry thinking? Okay, so we're not going there yet. Um we we'll go to my secret room really quick. We're gonna I'm going to reveal these um, two pieces of gear, and then I'm going to go to Hogsmeade and look at buying some new stations. A ceramic mask. Okay, let's see here. I can actually probably go um, farm up some Puffle skins again, or the Puffle little dudes. 60, 45, 47. That's a huge upgrade uh, for what I was wearing. Or seven, yeah, we'll upgrade to this too. Now the thing is, is you can't remove. Yeah, you can't remove upgrades. Yeah, we did get the asylum master chat. Looks pretty cool. Increased spell damage while concealed by... Mm. Still like the ability on that, but it's starting to get very, very weak. You know, compared to some of these. Okay, so that's 44. Let's go farm up some of our animals really quick. Still doesn't look as... Like, even the Bane mask, chat, doesn't look as sinister as, like, these two.
Alright, so I got those. We're gonna go and farm our little puff skin dudes. Brush. We got all three of those. No, don't like partially open it, dude. little dude he thought he was hiding over here I'm not saying I, listen the, the moon calf it's just got too much eyeball chat that that's all it is it's like So we got Lumen some stuff. Um, that's. I don't have a diary claw feather though. So we'll just do our destruction. Destruction. leave that so we're actually gonna have to sell some gear here soon too um now let me go ahead and get the conjure ability up and let's look at making some more well hold off let me let me go to the uh the hogsmeade first now what store was it um Tombs and Scrolls, right? Pretty sure it was Tombs and Scrolls. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours.
So the chopping station periodically produces plant byproducts. So does this make it so I don't have to walk around and individually feed out all, feed them? It'll just automatically do it for me. Unlocks the ability to conjure a table with a large pot. Use uh, its pot to grow all sorts of useful magic. So that's a large uh, potting table with two large pots. With medium. With two medium. With three medium. A potting table with three small pots. So we'll start with this one too. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Whoa, T shaped. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Mediums are actually quite expensive. Nothing right. like finding just the right thing, is there? Unicorn blood will hit. Yeah. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match the for moon them. Calf I'm chat. sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. With too much eyeballs. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnef. How kind. If only all of wizard kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnef's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Got it. All right, so I'm wondering if I should go buy some seeds.
So the only one I could do right now is Ditney. So being able to grow oh, other stuff you. would probably what a be pleasant surprise. Yep. Oh I, yeah, I needed to grow this uh, for the mission. So we got the flux weed. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Mallow. Screw it. We'll just get all of them. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Let's see if we can recoup some of the money. No one can say I don't keep a stock shelf. Now I'm wondering if I should go up north and buy. Can I think you can buy um, plants. It, like the the combat plants, I don't know if I can grow my own. We'll have to see. Revelio. Yeah, those. That's 500, uh, 500 gold. Revelio. There's another eyeball chest right here. Ah, uh, you can't use the broom inside of the city. Well, I think I bought one of every pot size, right? Actually, I didn't buy a large pot. Hogs meat, here I come. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Do I look like the one? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. Impulse. But I've run out of the key ingredient, booba tuba pus. Booba tubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubers, but they grow wild, <laughs> so you'll have to look around. I would go myself, but uh, Our yeah, I just, I just don't want to. On you, so you mustn't tarry. Sakarissa, what did you ask me to do again? Gather booba tubers from the Forbidden Forest for my new pimple cream formula. But I, I, I just don't want to. Away with all those dark Rebellion. I can't believe it. Good for you, getting all those foul goblins are hiding. Yeah, it's a pretty big upgrade.
Well, what say we show you some of what's available? All right, so we'll get the, uh... Man, these are expensive. Not too worried about those right now, but we could buy Mandrake. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. We'll get those. Now, I'm wondering if I... Nah, nah, we'll just grow our own. We'll save us the money. always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. We'll go we'll go grab this real quick out of the Forbidden Forest, why not? We're still considered inside Hogsmeade. So they were not playing around with that no fly zone. Incendio. Yeah, I haven't used the Mandrake all too much in combat. I used it one time um, as a test for uh, an assignment, and then I, I never use it again because it's hard to get. I don't even know how to get my hands on it, so. Sakurissa said to go. And where are those boo you? Oh, that's not enough. Let's get some more core spells going here. Wow, that's pretty good. Lumos. Just my luck, troll. I'm going to show you guys the power. Glaciers. 
Rest easy, my large friend. Got some more troll boogies. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. Rebellion. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Too easy, chat. Too easy. The combat's super dope in this game. I, I really enjoy it a lot. Does it get any more cozy and than Thank you guys for over 450 likes on this stream. I wonder what the reward's gonna be. Sakurissa, I found the boo tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. <sighs> I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to Extortion save on all these kids, kids, chat. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Hitting them all up for cash. Hey, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, Chad. It is what it is, you know? All right, let's go get this set up. Um, we're going to do more potion stations, things like that. Oh, this way. Okay, so for potioning, I have the T-shaped. How many does this do? So you get three on each of these, right? Okay, so I'll do two of these. Um, yeah, we'll do two of these for right now. Let's 
So we got two of those potion stations. Uh, I don't know if I should have done the close together, though. So I don't think I can access this. No, I can. Okay, cool. So that's six potions we can make at once right there, which is huge. Um, let's actually get those going. So much better, chat. And now we can mass produce. Okay. So we got the potions, and now we're going to do. Now we're going to do the planting. A little bit of a gap in between them so I can make sure I can walk between them no problem. We'll do three smalls. Where's my mediums? And then we'll do two mediums. Okay, so we'll do, uh... We'll do some mandrakes in these. Okay. I also needed to grow the flux or whatever, right? That needs a large, of course it needs a large. The one I didn't buy. That's medium. Well, you can just, you don't have to actually get off the planter chat. You can just move around like that. That's way better. We'll do one more Ditney. So we'll do this. So all I need to buy now is the large pot, which I actually need to do anyways for an assignment, so... Yeah, you don't have to actually escape, like, you can just do it all like that, it's way better. Look at us, chat. Look at us. I actually ran out of uh, Ditney leaves. I feel like I should actually get some more Ditney going. I only have... We got mandrakes. 
And I think I only have two Ditney. So we'll do one more small, and it'll just be Ditney. Now just be for healing. Got it. Uh, am I going to check out Atomic Heart? Yeah, actually, the developers reached out to me for that game. Um, and asked if I wanted to here I come if I wanted early access to it and I said yes so we'll see what they say but just because I get early access to it doesn't mean I can stream it though like uh because a lot of content creators they um they make videos, you know what I mean? So when you're making videos, if a, if a game developer sending me, sends me a game, you know, a week early, um, then I could, you know, pre-play the game, get all the videos ready. That way, the day the game drops, boom, I could start releasing videos. And that's what most YouTubers do. But because I'm a live streamer, um, I can't showcase the game. They'll be like, here's the game, but you still can't play it till said date. Um, so that that's where I... And then I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to play it experience the game and not with you guys for the first time so that's why early access for me most of the time doesn't mean anything because um the embargo which is the day that you can actually release content on the game is usually the day that the game comes out anyways so plenty to look at here let's look at what we have shall we so i just need to buy the large potting table With two large pots. Oh, it's so expensive. Screw it. We'll bite the Nothing bullet. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? A pleasure doing business with you. We'll get the money back. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Yeah, it's a big difference between being a live streamer and being a, uh, you know, a normal content creator, yeah. Because, um, like I said, uh, they'll be like, you know, here's early access. Usually you get it about a week or two before the game drops. Like, uh, there's been a couple games that I got, like, wicked, wicked early. Uh, Dying Light 2 was one of them. Uh, I got that game about a week and a half before I was able to actually stream it. And... Um, but then it just sat there in my library because I couldn't, you know, I wasn't going to play it. Not with you guys. You know what I mean? It just, I wanted you guys to experience, you know, that my first playthrough of it. So so I just wait. I just wait. It is what it is. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Okay, so uh, now we just got to do our two large tables. I should, I should have enough. Um... Repairer. Oof. Moonstone for these, right? Yeah. No, maybe not. Nope. So there is a little bit of moonstone inside of my botanical garden place here. Gotta make sure we start farming up some more moonstone when we're out and about, chat. Yeah, I might go around the room and break down some stuff. All the decoration-y stuff. 
But then I just didn't want the I didn't want the place to look too too empty, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Some goodies in here. Oh, nice. Got a new floor. Wonder what's around here. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. All right, we're going to go around and poof stuff. Now I know I was just wasting resources, you know. You know, we could use a couple less paintings on that wall. Leave the mirror. So now we should have enough to do our larges. And I got some space. I've reached my budget for this type of item. I don't have any. Oh, so you're only allowed seven planter. Oh, shit. Um. I might have to get rid of one of the smalls then. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of one of the small tables. In a minute, all these will be done. I'll just, uh, put them off, take them off there. Nice. These two tables are almost done. Oh, I did forget. It's not like you only get one Ditney per craft. No, actually, I should have... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. The 
gonna empty the pots before you can poof it. There we go. Now I should be able to do the larges. Well, at least one large. Let me get this flux plant. There we go. So we got those two growing. And we should be good for right now. So... Yeah, the potting budget is... Is that just for the whole base? It's not just like per room, right? Because yeah, we're, we're just over budget. Over our budget. <laughs> yeah, I got the single one upstairs, but um... Yeah, that only allows me to grow the one Dittany, I think. All right, so we got 18 heal potions. We're looking, we're looking good right now, chat. We're, look, we're looking good. Oh, this one, yeah, 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 yeah. That one, you're talking. I know what. You yep. Yeah, let's get rid of this shit. I forgot I even built this. You, could, how did you remember that? That's the thing about chat. You guys like remember shit. I have like no, like, oh yeah, I remember. Four episodes ago, you built it, and I'm like, how the hell do you remember that, dude? Yeah, yeah we got that potion station up there and everything that we could probably Let's move this down a little bit. And then we'll do uh, one more large. Damn it. Seriously. Large. Boom. I didn't have it all the way against the wall, so it was, like, bothering me. Then again, I can't put it all against the wall because the little pillar sticks out right here. And it messes it up. It's close enough. Right now, we'll just get some fluxweed growing in here. Alright, GG. Now, I have... All three of the combat... Let me see... Grow and harvest flux weed. That's going to take about 15 minutes. And it says acquire all three combat plants, which is the cabbage, the mandrake, and the little, little whatever little fly, Venus fly trap thingy. I have to use all of them simultaneously to get flipendo. So we're going to head out and see if I can just get that assignment done really quick. It's got to be a bandit camp around here somewhere, right? Right there. I, I know I could do it. I want to use them in combat, though. I don't want to waste them. Let's go. Come 
Centaurs? Okay, so all we gotta do now is grow and harvest the Pluxweed. That worked out nice. So those centaurs are friendly. Excellent content. Thanks for picking this game. Uh, Ari Miguel, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. I'm really glad you're enjoying the game. Item chat. Revelio. Works nice because the curse spreads um, when and it, it's, it's so good. So when I get uh, the kill curse and that, then that uh, tr talent that kills when you kill somebody with the kill curse, anybody who else is affected by curse, you'll all die. Yo, you can like one shot a whole entire group of enemies. Got explosive too. And now we got just gotta wait for that flux weed to grow. So let's go check our our quests here. We'll knock this one out really quick. Arresto momentum. Huh. We could also head up to Ironwood and do the other uh Broom challenge? Yeah, I really want the kill curse, a devil cadaver, but I feel I honestly feel that it's gonna be the last curse that you unlock. So the mind control one's probably gonna be next, and then the devil cadaver is gonna be last.
Yeah, I don't think Sebastian's hit us up again, has he? This one was definitely a little more involved. There we go. It's level based for Sebastian. It, what is it? Does anybody know what's max level in this game? Oh, that's a big ass camp. A lot of enemies. Forty. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Seriously? I got missed one right in the beginning. Yep. Okay, so that assignment is done. All right, let's see. So I, we're just waiting on the flux weed to grow. Then we have. Let me go find biscuit. All right, let's go turn this one in. See if this spells any cool, has any coolness to it. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yeah, I still only have that starter. No, no, I've unlocked a couple more broom skins. I just didn't like the way they looked compared to this one. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignment? Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. 
and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, so Arresto Momentum. Slows the motion of enemies. Oh, whoa. So it's Very just like... good. Incendium. Practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Arresto Momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Little slow motion spell. Wow, it stays frozen for quite some time, too. Doesn't seem much different than the Glacius spell. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Really, dude? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. Damn it. I'll let you have that one. Akio. All in the wrist. One for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. <laughs> Tie game. At least you didn't beat me. Really, bro? I had this chat. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I gotta beat him. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Akio. All in the wrist. Watch out. Akio. No! <laughs> I should have hit it harder. I'll let you have that one. Akio. Nothing to it. 
It's all or nothing right here, chat. That was one for the ages. <laughs> Tie game. Yeah. At least you didn't beat me. I couldn't. I couldn't lose, chat. I couldn't lose. Damn, I just can't beat this dude, though. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? What do you mean? I'm not losing. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. What was that cheating bullshit? Damn it, too much, too hard, too hard. Fuck you! Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. All in the wrist. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. And I'm in the score ages. better, dude. Wait, did I win? I won. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Bro, stop saying that. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. It's cheating, chat. It's cheating. Try to beat that. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Oh, it didn't cheat that time. Yeah. Weezy Chan, we got this. Easy you dubs. Bad at this. All in the wrist. Akio. I've seen worse. Well done. You beat me. <laughs> Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Wait, this is going to get harder, chat? Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Now people are going to want to see me in the, in the Summoner's Court. Confringo, Akio. That's 
been taken care of. Um, let's go check on our flexweed real quick. It might be done. Yeah, I know that that wasn't the guy, but still, like, I was just mad. So whoever was around me was just gonna catch these this wand. Not, I take that back. I don't. Want, I don't want to say it like that. It doesn't sound as cool as it did, like in my head. And then when I said it, it didn't sound as cool. You know what I mean? Breathe. So we're out here farming, check. All right, there it is, Chess. So we got all of that stuff. Now let's go turn in this assignment. And this is a new... Lependo. Yeah, the broom upgrade, I, I still have to do a um, another race for that one. How nice to see you, my young friend. Uh, and I don't, I don't have any money though. Perhaps a hybrid. No, Perhaps no, we I did do the broom up. The guy never hit us up ago. for it. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome. All right, so we're gonna drag all of these down here. Okay, and then visibility. Let me see what Flipendo does really quick. And then I'll go from there on how I want to rearrange the these. Greenhouse. Just my Look at that. You're a natural. So so what does it do? Didn't seem much different than like Levioso. But it is a purple version instead of this. Levioso is the yellow. Without a nudge from me. Okay, so I, I I think yeah yeah yeah.
Eventually, all my uh, stuff's gonna get a little bit different. Akio, incendio, expelliarmus. Rupendo, Rupendo, Crucio, Confrindo. Yeah, STG. I like that. get on board with that chat I can get on board with that somebody said you could turn it into a curse oh right here flipendo has the same effect as a curse on enemies oh nice yeah that that's really really nice Yeah. That's gonna be nice. Alright, so now we gotta go save this dude's uh, biscuit from some uh, poachers. <laughs> you seem hostile after your match with Leander. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of mad because he was cheating, chat. Legit cheating. Pleased to be included. I was only following orders. Accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. It's the same elephant graveyard from Lion King? He was straight up cheating, chat. So the- I personally feel- I don't know, this might be- I personally feel that the broom is faster and more mobile than the hypocrite, but I don't know, I might- I might just be tripping, chat. See what I'm saying? Over here. So that that's why I was using the uh That's why I was using the the, the broom because it just felt faster. Let's get in here. Uh. Poachers. God, if was right then, I'd better be careful. Now I want to test out my new thing. I could, I would have just stealth this area a little bit, but now I really want to just go ham and test out my. My new spells, chat. What 
doesn't matter if they're still alive. Concentrate on the spoils we'll be leaving. <laughs> I just polymorphed her into One a goddamn punch chicken. In the world. Revelio. Oh, there's so many of them. So many eyeballs. Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Dependent. That was not intentional, I accidentally hit the damn button trying to hit W. Wait, which one is Biscuit? Revelio. Lumos. So, Chad, the thing is, is how do I know? Do I just got to suck them all up in the bag? Probably, probably just got to use the bag, right? Now they all ran off like assholes. <laughs> Revelio. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Akio! There, there. Not going to hurt you. Okay, so that one was not Biscuit. We could probably use this pause spell. And suck him up, right? Revelio! Arrest the momentum. Stop moving. Professor Howard will never believe this. Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Got it. Everything's all right now. Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Revelio.
We just gotta grab all the little dudes, I guess. Bring them back. And let the dudes sort them out. Arrest them, arrest them. Rebellion. Couldn't be three in there. Arrest the momentum. Had to be twenty. You have to be biscuit. Oh, no, you don't. With a biscuit, of course, you're gonna give me a hard time. All right, biscuit. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we? Yep, of course, it was the white one. I, I should have known because he was like the only unique color one out of all of the the, the dudes in there. I didn't scare them. They they were just. I had nothing to do with that. It's not even like the spell I used this on them was dangerous. dangerous. Careful. Just a little flipping. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied her. Just a little flip. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio! Whoa! I still haven't found that other duel arena chat. Did you guys say it was like to the south or something like that? Oh, you fret, Biscuit. Was there any missions that like introduce you to it? Gone if I've rescued Biscuit. You have. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Exactly, chat. Right there, not when much incident. When approaches are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. You can have her back for the right price. I, of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. <laughs> Oh, my sweet little biscuit, my wise noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. I'm like a witcher, chap. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. I got I gotta I gotta make money somehow. All right, so we are chewing through this quest list, which was absolutely ab just absurdly long. <clears throat> so I wonder if we can find any of those demigod statues in Rebellion. Oh yeah, a ton of them. Look at that. Oh, those are locks.
Revelio. Are they only in Hogwarts? I know he said that he's seen some of her on Hogsmeade, but... Oh, one per village. So I got another uh, broom skin right there, too. So we got ancient magic one there. It's nice. Upgrade your gear 10 times to get that one. Rebellion. These locks kind of have the same shape from a distance. Leak dueling gloves. Ours actually have defense built into them, though. I don't know if that was from an upgrade. Yeah, it was from an upgrade. So we'll look at upgrading these when we get back. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. I now, Demi guys. Oh. Do they not show up on the Revelio? On one. That definitely was not on my Revelio when I was outside. Alohomora. Uh, you might need to brew that Felix first potion to see the super chest. Ah, oh, got you, got you. Yeah, so Revelio doesn't just show you everything. It's not like the answer to all questions.
Revelio. Never knew butterflies were attracted to treasure. I must have missed that one in beasts. Alright, so let's see here. Um... I'm not going to worry about that one right now. Uh, find the statue of the One-Eyed Witch. And uh, thank you, everybody. I do appreciate over 600 likes on the stream. Hope everybody's been having a great night tonight. Uh, you only get voice. Got you. Revelio. Stairs trip me up every time. Revelio. Rebellion. Still don't understand this shit uh, at all. Looking for a one-eyed witch statue. Was that? That wasn't downstairs, was it? Uh, I was just definitely a dude. Both eyes. What, right here, maybe. This looks like the yep. right statue. Um, what was the password? Descendium. Oh, you need to find the note that tells you what this was all symbols mean, what numbers. Oh, got you, got you. Revelio. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Propeller. Akio. Kaposa. Uh. Revelio. I need to fix the lift before I can use it. Arrow. Repower. That seems to have done the trick. Hogwarts has some shit in it, chat. Like, it's not... There's so many secrets in this damn castle. I feel like there's stuff the instructors don't even know about. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Uh, the symbols represent numbers 
Left to right, zero to nine. That's what I thought. I thought maybe it was like, you know, like like this. I didn't know zero. So I went like the little sloth dude. I was like, oh, maybe it's one, two, three, four. But then I didn't know where the other uh, little things were on the on the wall. So. Good for you. Incendio. Just the way back up. If I could lift this platform, I think I could get it to work. Uh, what's expelling armor or whatever? Wingardium Leviosa. Arresto Momentum. There it is. Yeah, that works. I'm going to have to get past this. Wingardium Leviosa. Now we're stuck like Chuck. It was all part of the plan, though, Chad. I needed. I wanted to come in here, anyways. How do you think Chuck got stuck to begin with, though? Poor guy. Revelio. Let me also arrest the momentum. Lumos. Repair Let me <laughs> Chuck got stuck with rhymes. <laughs> Damn those rhymes. Incendio. Across. Repair. Let me answer. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Depart. When in doubt, cast it out, chat. Start casting everything.
This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Confringer! Revelio. Arrest them, Lester. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. There it is. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Wait, we really just broke into this man's store to. St I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. We really just stole. Oh, that, yeah, that was that door I actually seen when I was there that said locked. This kid constantly has me on B and E chat, like on B and E duty. But we're gonna get a new conjuring spellcraft. I don't know what it is though, but we'll see. What's tonight's game? So it was originally going to be stated in K2. Um, I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Well, but, um, I think I might, I think I might try something else. Uh, just for tonight. But I'm not sure, chat. I'm not sure. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Skids eat good here, chat. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Bad Wolf, you can't be giving out the secrets. Okay, so I do have an extraordinary hat that we can reveal. Okay, so let's see what's next. So we're we're just chewing through these. Almost done. Um Serona and the three broomsticks. So what, um, what spellcraft did that kid just give me? I didn't even pay attention. Samuel, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I'm, I'm not, I'm not playing Ark today. Ark, I believe, is tomorrow. I know, Bad Wolf out here spilling all the beans. Um... Hogsmeade, here I come. Yeah, I, well, now that the cat's out the bag, um, I, I was planning on playing The Forest, um, the first one. I have played it on the channel before a very long time ago, uh, but with Sons of the Forest, which is my most anticipated game of the year, uh, I'm so, so excited for that. I, I did want to kind of just get into the forest um, mode, you know what I mean? 
Uh, and I, I, I figured because I played it on normal difficulty last time, I'm going to play it on hard survival, which is like the hardest difficulty in the game. And we'll see how it goes. Hello, Zorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I guess. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Alright, let's see here. Hopefully we'll get into a nice big fight. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I have a ton of them. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How many is she going to take, though? The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. John Bon, how you doing, brother? Jens, you said the forest is boring. Don't you like Ark? Jens? Maybe not. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Oh, yeah, gents, you guys got to give the game a chance, man. The, the forest is... I, I personally find the forest to be ten times better than Ark when it comes to survival games. Uh, it's one of the... The forest is probably one of the best survival games ever made. 
Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? It's oh, even scary. Of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying. Yeah, you could build in it. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Uh, John Bob with the 21 months, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. I don't know if I'm the goat, man. Like, I, I might actually be an actual goat, like a ba type. Well, no, do, do goats ba before I, you know, make that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, thank they, you, they Mrs. ba, Russell. right? Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. You can build boats in the forest. The vendors I help would greatly appreciate yep. it. All right. We'll see how this goes. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. to visit the cave to find my animal sound letters. spin game <laughs> perhaps i'll find more hawk lumps while i'm there you remember those all right here we go so we got to find the letters and the letter Let's box have a look around see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters Couldn't bring up. that's all the hawk clumps for now mrs sprottle should be pleased revelio Good shit, shit. Oh. Lumos. Wasn't Luperigno the actual the the that that the old uh, Incredible Hulk? Fight that troll, or take it all together. Defender. Hey! 
Man, I always forget about that follow-up attack, dude. He literally just teleported to me. You're better off just regular dodging that and not the fast dodge because that the dude gets weird. He just like swings, but then he like instantly gets to you. You're better off just using the regular dodge. Lumos. Any info screen? What info screen? Enemies. So forest trolls. Oh, shit. Look at that. After a troll slams its club on the ground with both hands, flipping it upwards with Flipendo will have greater leverage than us uh, usual, sending uh, the club into the troll's face for a powerful blow. And then you can hit them with their boulders and it does, it does quite a bit of damage. Kind of like The Witcher, um, where you can do like the. They have the. Uh, the breakdown for all the different monsters. Corona's box of letters.
And Mr. Ron actually pulled it off. Steak and kidney pie. That sounds delicious. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. See, now I gotta go back and watch these freaking movies, Shank, because... Serona will be glad to have this back. I sit here and I think, yo, were, were, were people, like, bullying each other in, in, like, in Hogwarts with magic? You know, just, like, move something in front of somebody, they trip and fall, or... Because it's like a school, you know what I mean? I feel like it, there'd definitely be some bullies. Big-time bullying. Let's go return this. I didn't bully the wolf. I was just, I needed the resources, you know? Well, <laughs> all the bullies are in Slytherin. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Not me. I, I, see, I'm, I'm a Slytherin and I'm not a bully. I just make people pay me for the work I do. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Alright, so we're making the super good prize. I think, yeah, we got that. So we're going to do this last one here, and then I'm going to go do some main missions. I got backlogged on my side quest. It was just like, just building up and building up. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well... I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I mean, definitely worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. 
You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself in? I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Of course he's alright, man. And if he's not, we're gonna save him. Past the river. He's not gonna end up like Tobbs, chat. Poor Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. This be Mr. Oakes's campsite. Most robbers in my family worked in the mines at one time or other. Renrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be one? Yeah, another human. Revelio. Human. figure out a different um I might have to put one of the yellow spells on my and you know what we'll we'll swap that out other attack spell and we'll put the uh why do I always hit that see and I'll put um yeah we'll put this one here Pull on gear again. I'm gonna get rid of that low level stuff. Just in case any of the stuff that's here might be higher. Revelio. Mr. Oaks' trade journal.
Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Rebellion. Mr. Oaks' trade journal. Revelio. I should investigate. Stylus school cloak. Alright, so we're gonna have to go ahead and... It doesn't show me anything on here, so I got to use that little map that we just got. Okay, so from the camp... Past the mountains... Broken silo. Mountains, broken silo, and then like a gate front. Fly around and see. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. There's a crooked tree right there. Or maybe it's not crooked enough. Has to be down there. Yep, there it is. It's that broken silo thing. This place has seen better days. You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a troll the other day. Yeah, this has to be the spot. What do we have here? Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. Hello? Higher up in the keep. It's not like we can climb out here. It's not like we're playing Assassin's Creed. We just easy mode climb up. Actually, I might be able to climb up with this. We got him, Leviosa. Not high enough. Oh, 
Let's go through this way, it's fine. A ladder. That's what I need. like a big ass troll. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Now here's a sad little place. Swan. Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Alohomora. Got him. We gotta empty out some more gear. So we'll just get rid of any greens that we have first. We're gonna drop those. These. A human's word is worthless. 
This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. A lot more than of them than I initially thought. Revelio. Oh, nice. Some really good looking gloves right there. Rugged dueling gloves. Yeah, those are huge. The offense on them is insane compared to what I have on. So this was like a little hidden room. The gardener's robes compared to what I'm wearing. Four fifty. Yeah. Revelio. A boiler door. How to open it? I gotta follow those pipes that way. Incendio. Rebellion. Right, before we go that way, let me go check what was in that boiler door. <laughs> well, damn, that's a lot of dudes. You 
Give one less follower, Ranrock. Yeah, we dropped a lot of crap in here. Revelio. Again, now we got to go back to our gear. I got to do some more of those Merlin um, objectives at some point. Get some more uh, inventory slots. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Did I find his wand before I found him? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a legendary, so we'll drop a blue for that. Oh, no, no, actually, I just picked up some green glasses. And I appreciate all the new subscribers today, too, chat. It really means a lot. Again, my inventory is full. It's super annoying. Might just drop some of these low-level blues. I was keeping the blues because I was like, oh, they're worth more money, but realistically, they're only worth 30 more than... We're starting to get a lot of purples, so blues are going to kind of lose their importance. Unbeatable Quidditch Gloves. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Oaks. I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Oh, you've found it. Pass it to me. Hurry, before they come. I must get out. Hurry. My wand. Oh, thank Merlin. You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're Wait a, a Monopoly, student? dude? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblin stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Hey, you know what still bothers me? The whole Mandela thing, Mandela effect. Where they're trying to say that um, the Monopoly guy didn't have a monocle. 
Come on, Chad. Everybody knows the Monopoly guy had a monocle. I specifically remember it. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlock's Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Damn. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine. I killed Strokes. everybody. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. My man got lucky that I came through and killed everybody. Let's see. Talents. I did get a new talent point. That's what I need right there, champ. Still haven't learned Bombarda yet. One of this increase the range of Revelio. Oh, this is for that. Chain uh, stealth takedown. I'll hold off on that point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to use it on. Now, I know the Peanut Man had the monocle, but so did the Monopoly guy. I'm telling you, Chad, there's people in this world, right? Some people are like, no, he never had the monocle. And then there's other people that are like, nah, dude, he had a monocle. And I'm one of the people like, man, he, he had a monocle, Chad. I've played many of Monopoly in my day, and I know for sure he had the monocle. Yeah, they both had a monocle. Like, I don't care. No, no, I, I, that's what I'm saying, right? Is... He had the monocle, all right? 
But they're trying to say, yeah, they are trying to say that he never had one. And there's no proof of him ever having one. That we're all just crazy. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not how that works. No, I, I no, that's what I get that I get that he doesn't have a monocle chat. Like I'm not I, I understand that, but he did. Okay. You can Google it and yes, Google's gonna say no, he never had but he did. He did. And they're trying to say that he never had one. Like, it, it, it's not a thing. And I'm like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Rebellion. That's what I'm saying. There, there, it, it, a lot of people remember him having it. And now... And then when you go look it up, they're like, no, he never had one. It, it, it wasn't a thing. You're just, you're just crazy. I mean, even if you look at him without the monocle, it just looks weird. Like, there looks like there's something missing off of his face. So we're going to go. I got all those quests done. Now we just got to get uh, go. No, that's map chamber. Yep. So I'm not doing those two. We have that main quest done. Um, so be before ending the, today's episode chat, I need I need to go do my favorite event in the game. Until I unlock that other one. This is the only one I got. Okay, so. I'm in combat, so I can't. Yeah, there's a lot of that Mandela stuff, Chet, the Mandela effect. I, 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 I'm not like a conspiracy person or anything. I don't, I don't care enough to really pay attention to shit. The Mandela effect stuff, though, it was just interesting to me. I found it to be funny. You know what I mean? And if, if none of you guys have uh, heard about it, definitely go check it out. Like, um, just Google it. And there's so many like little things that they try to say, you know, we're one way, and now they're this way. And some of them, I was just like. <laughs> Get out of here, like straight bullshit. Like, you know, it's pretty funny to go see, though. No, 
Okay, so remember how I'm saying I can't switch between my my spell things? I think it's from some kind of spell they hit me with or something that causes that. Arrest the momentum. Confirm them. Yeah, there's something that they're that I'm being hit with that makes it so you can't switch your spell. Oh, how come they didn't give me the, uh, curses? Usually when you come in here, they give you the curses. Like, they're not even available for me to, to get this time. So this one must be different. All right, let me make sure. So I got that, 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 that. That will work. Um, goes for Pando. Stop trying to block that.
I gotta learn how to time this whip attack. Proper timing. So, when do you do it? When it hits the ground? Gotta be up like that. Arrest 
That one was way harder without freaking having uh, the Adabra curse. Cause that shit just one shot out. Boom. Um that was that was definitely a lot harder. Definitely a lot harder. <laughs> How's my friend? It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I like I like as you guys see the with the crucio now, um, you get the spread damage. So like literally, I just get to hit one person and, and it just spreads damage all over the place. It's it, it's definitely really really nice. Yeah. So there it is, chat. All right, so we are going to end this episode here. I'm going to go eat some dinner. I do want to thank you guys for almost 750 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to end this one here. Remember, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will be doing another stream here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. So I'm going to go eat. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be starting here probably within like an hour or so. All right, but if I don't see you in the next stream, hey, have a great rest of your night. And for the rest of you guys, hey, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.